just a second and get back over to everybody. Very good. While it's streaming here, keep putting in the chat what you're happy about. What are you happy about? If you want a chance to win a happy hat, just throw that get in back the chat. Over to everybody. Okay, everyone. So everyone putting that in the chat here with me live um, is going to be put into a drawing. Oh my goodness, Bailey Wayne got her started on her mental wellness coaching certification today. That's amazing, Bailey. And by the way, guys, let me just give you a heads up. Bailey is not knock, knock, knocking on the door of silver. She's going to be a thousand dollar earner here at Amari. We are so proud of Bailey. Um, she is making it happen. She's been working so hard with her and her team. I am so excited for you, Bailey. Um, good, good job. Great work. All right. Let's shout out some of these happy things here. Um, let's see. Juanita says she had a couple of people ask her about products from her story post and the weather is finally gorgeous. That's amazing. The weather's gorgeous here on the beach too. So it is beautiful here for sure. Um, Helen says it's a win every day when I can share what I love. I am 65 days consistent on social media. Helen, woohoo! that is awesome. Helen, 65 days, um, consistent. And you know what? I got to give a special shout out and should probably give a special award to Janine Lano. Janine, she is so encouraging. She's got the sweetest voice and she's so excited about the social media calls. She reached out to me yesterday and said, why is it not happening? <laughs> and that's because yesterday was Tuesday. And so the call is on Wednesday and she was even on the call last week on Wednesday, but that happens to all of us, y'all. That happens to all of us. I mean, I'm telling you, if I'm not writing it down, I don't keep up with it. So it happens to all of us, but Janine, I'm going to send you something special for just being you. Cause I, love you and I love your support on these calls and your encouragement to everyone. You're always in the chat, encouraging and complimenting everyone. Um, you're, that's why you're such a great coach. Thank you. You're, I love you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You're welcome. Yesley, glad you like my hat. All right. Um, Bailey, 18 months of sobriety today. Congratulations, Bailey. Oh my goodness. We love your story, Bailey. For those of you that do not know much about her story, I'm not going to be able to really tell it as complete and well as she can, but I want you to know a little bit about her story. Story because we are a community of survivors here, whatever it is that you've gone through and whatever you've experienced. And on our team in particular, we have um, individuals like Bailey who have a story of a loved one like her, like her, her significant other, her husband, who um, died um, to suicide, um, died to suicide. And she's a single mom raising her her children and 18 months so sober. So congratulations, Bailey. We love you. We are cheering you on, sweet girl. And congratulations on silver. That is happening. That is happening, happening. Um, okay, Holly Fisher, happy about going live yesterday and down three pounds this week. Yes, Holly's been doing all kinds of follow-up and she's been doing an accountability with me every Friday too. And I mean, she's on it. Before I even get a chance to turn around and say, what's up? She's already in my chat thread telling me um, her accountability. So Holly, congratulations. That is going to pay off, my friend. That will pay off for you for sure. Uh, Bobby says she's so happy for the beautiful weather and sunshine. Yesley's happy about the weather and focus and content in a lead posting system. Joanna, happy. I'm getting a lot of interaction on my Facebook post. Judy, labor. Oh, so good to see you, Judy. Happy belated birthday again. Judy had a birthday last week. I'm happy about a speaking gig coming up. Good for you, Judy. That is awesome. A talented mental health therapist um, on our team, Judy Labor. Um, let's see, Dawn's happy about the weather, outside to walk. Happy, uh, Janine's happy she had quality time with her niece and her great niece. Teresa, happy I'm able to walk in the mornings again because it finally stopped storming in California. And Teresa, Teresa winks. I've got something else for you to be happy about. You, my friend, are the... You're the winner of the Great Edge from last week. Woo! Let's shout it out for Teresa. Yay, Teresa, congratulations. You are winning the Grape Edge from last week, which was the drawing that we had from who was sharing ideas about how you could talk about stress. And you know what, guys? That gives me an idea. 
I am going to take those comments later today because I saved the chat so I could do the drawing. I'm going to take those comments and then I'm going to create just a, li a list for y'all. Um, and I'll share it on all of our places, our WhatsApp, our Facebook group, all the places. I'll share a list of stress, um, stress awareness topics that you can be chatting about in your um, Facebook feed. All right, and Claudette, um, so happy, got myself set up with Mindset Neuron Tools today, my first day using it in the morning, absolutely amazing. And she's starting a master uh, class on coaching. Claudette attended that special little webinar I did this weekend um, with Deb Erickson, which by the way, guys, if you're interested in any of that, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time talking about it here, but I will say that you can still catch that webinar. And if any of you were on that webinar about the, about leading mentoring and coaching and what that means and the difference between the three of them and our mindset and neuro tools around it, please drop a chat. Did you get anything out of it? Did you like it? What did you like about it? Um, we can get the recording to you. So let me know if you're interested in that and I'll take care of that for you. And that masterclass, that coaching masterclass Claudette's talking about that window with Deb Erickson to basically have Deb coaching you every week for 12 weeks is also available. And I tell you, it's a intimate class because it's not a world like she's got, you know, thousands and thousands of followers and connections. It's just my group of Deb's little team coaching thing that's happening, not everybody in the whole world. So let me know if that's your style, not your thing and something that you want to know more about. Helen is happy. She's empowering herself, working on her mindset. Lisa, been in a funk um, um, for a while, had someone text me for info saying they've been watching my post. Boy, that brings you out of a funk for sure. That's a funk buster is when somebody, somebody messages you that they've been looking at something or they like something. That is amazing. Great, great, great. Anniversary coming up. Grateful for my husband. Awesome, awesome, um, awesome. So good, you guys. Bobby Decker hit over a thousand followers on TikTok. Yay, Bobby, over a thousand followers. That's awesome. Congratulations. Um, very, very good. Great. All lots of love for, for Bailey, Holly, um, all of you guys. So amazing. What a great community we have here. I am thankful for that. What a great community we have here. We, um, Today, I promised you that we are going to talk about Facebook groups and how do you use Facebook groups effectively in order to increase your reach on Facebook. So I am going to deliver that. I promise I'm going to deliver that. But before I do that, there's a couple of reminders that I want to share with you. Um, and one of them is I am going live right now with, um, with this social media call. So if anyone, you know, missed it and wants the recording, you can find it on my YouTube channel. My YouTube is Laura Evans trust like that. And, um, and a lot of tutorial videos are out there, but what I also drop in the chat for you is I am keeping this little link tree social media workshop link tree social media workshop I couldn't believe nobody else grabbed that name right like I grabbed this I mean in all the world nobody grabbed social media workshop so I've got that link tree where I'm continuing to add the recordings of what we're doing so Thing and, or if you know someone on the team that says, I wish I could find the recording, where are the recordings for the social media workshop? You can always point them to that link. It's linktree um, slash social media workshop. So um, there is that. And now I'm going to be, now that I'm like super tech, I'm having like, my, my daughter would call it a tech upgrade. Now that I am tech upgrading myself to be able to put it on YouTube, um, it'll be there as well. And eventually that'll just be where everything lives. The next thing I wanted to just remind you guys of, I shared this in our different threads and we also talked about it on the team meeting, but I know in our busy lives, not everybody catches up with everything. So I just want to say this again. I want to be sure because I think it has to do with our confidence and how we talk about and show up with things, our posture, which is really important when we're going to play, be on social media. And you saw Claudette mentioned it. Helen mentioned mindset is so important. Well, part of our mindset around the products that we take is the value of them. And there's an association between value and price. And I would say in my history of lifetime of working, well, let me tell you just a quick story here. 
Walker. When I worked at J. Crew, we started um, we started J. Crew with just ten pages of a catalog and a brilliant designer, Emily Senator, and. Um, when we started, we started having some big sellers like the barn jacket, if anybody remembers the barn jacket and the PK polo and a couple of different things like that. Um, good, Claudette. I love that you guys take pictures of us all here and be able to share it on social media because community is our superpower. All of us here and share it on social media too. So what I wanted to say to you is, at one point in time, our designers who were amazing at J. Crew and eventually got hired off at Gap and Banana Republic and all those other places, which is why the brand started all looking the same. Well, the designers at J. Crew designed this purse, right? And the purse was beautiful. And they listed the purse at first at $50. And then Emily Senator had a little bit of a conniption fit about it, to be honest. She had a little tantrum about it because she said, you're pricing it too low. And even though it had a healthy profit margin at $50, she wanted it listed at $150 because she wanted to elevate the brand and she knew that there was a value to it. And do you know what? We hardly sold any at $50 guess what happened when we raised the price to $150 on the same purse? Guess what happened? What do you think happened? What do you think happened when that happened? What do you think happened? When yes, Holly's pointing up, sold out, my friends, sold out. And that was such a lesson to me early in life, in my young 20s, that what we put, that price is a relationship to value. Price is a relationship to value. I'll give you another example today. One of my dear friends from high school reached out to me and she said, hey, help me out. There's a young mom, bless you, whoever that was. Um, there's a young mom that has a um, has twin boys, nine years old. One of them is on medication. The other one is not. And they're really struggling with focus and impulse control. What would you say to her? How would you help her? She wants an email from you describing what you would do. Well, you guys know normally... I would like to ask questions. And so email is not really my thing because I really want to have a conversation with someone. But I didn't have the luxury of that option. Um, so I had to operate within the email confinement. Did was I shared with her some videos um, about uh, a kid's mood because I really think kid's mood is a great option for her. And then I, I, I asked some questions in it anyway, uh, but my friend had told me a lot of background. So I knew a lot about the, about the person. And I shared with her three options to buy. I always like to have three options. Why do I like to have three options? Because people usually land in the middle. If you give people a good, better, and best option, they usually land in the middle. And it doesn't have to be really complicated, guys. Um, so in this example, for this single mom of twins and nine-year-olds, and I remember my nine-year-old boy, so I know what that's like. Um, and I was a... Um, a single mom at that time? I might've been, cause I've been a single mom a couple of times. So um, I don't know if I was at that time or not, but I remember the um, I, I, is this happening? Hey, Laura, you're muted. Thank you so much. Thanks, Denise, or whoever helped me with that. Hey, guys, I'm sorry. I don't know what happened. My internet is full speed. I'm not in an unusual location. I don't know what happened, but Zoom just kicked me out and put me right back in again. So sorry about that. 
What I was saying is for my friend that was recommending a, um, a single mom of two twin year old, nine, nine year old twins, boys, um, I was responding to her and I gave her a good, better, best option. Because I know that the, um, because I know that the, the, um, I know she's very money conscious. I did what I normally don't do, which is I led with, but I listed all three. Normally I lead with the highest priced option and then work backwards. But because I didn't want her to shut down and not listen, and I wasn't having a conversation with her, it was in an email. I led with, you could start with kids mood for $30 for $30. You can get a box of kids mood. Cause remember she saves $10 off on it. So for $30, you could get a box of kids mood and that will give you 30 servings, but for two boys, that's going to last like two weeks. So, you know, you could do that if that's where you need to start. The much better value for your dollar is going to be the next couple of options. So the next option, I said, you could get the kids plus pack. And the kids plus pack, you're going to get this and this, and you're going to get two kids mood, plus you're going to get the probiotic help, which really addresses the root cause um, instead of just, you know, kids mood by itself. Let's get to the root cause of some digestive issues that could help the boys, that could help them with their behavioral um, uh, focus and uh, impulse control and things like that. And then I said, here's really the best value, you know. The, so the first one was kids mood for $30. The second one was kids mood, uh, the kids plus pack, which has two moods in it for $147. So you're getting like uh, five products for $147. And I spelled out it's five products. You got to point out the value to people. Then the next, which I said, this is really the best. And I know that if you're like me as a single mom, when, especially when I was a single mom at with kids that touch my dollar, this is a money back guarantee. And when it works, you're going to be so thankful that you made the investment in yourself and your family. You see how I'm setting up the value? I'm setting up the value. I'm not just saying, spend this amount, go to this shopping cart link. When you share things like that, you're not being empathetic and sensitive to the person. So I said, I recognize this could stretch your budget. This is going to be something for you because I know you're looking for something for your twin boys, but mama, I got to tell you, we all need support. And especially where you are as a single mom right now, you need something for you so that you can show up. Plus, if you try this for you, you're going to be able to try some of this with the kids too, because they're nine years old. So they can try edge. They could try mentabiotics. If, if they don't like the taste profile on the kids products, you've got more things to experiment with versus if you come back and buy it later, then it's going to be more expensive. So the best deal for you is happy juice. And right now by buying happy juice and two kids mood and a fundamentals for kids on bundle and save, you're going to save over 55%. You're getting nine products, nine products for $250. So you could get one product for 30, five products for 150 or nine products for $250. Um, and, and it gives you more to experiment with and to evaluate what's going to be the best fit for you and what's going to be the best fit for your sons. Because, um, because by the way, so I want to say that about happy juice again, happy juice is um, right now, I want, want to make sure all the time, no matter when, there's no special promo code for this. Happy juice is essentially edge and mentabiotics together. Energy is free. If you look at the prices and you tried to buy Edge and Mentabiotics separately on Subscribe and Save, it's $152. But on Happy Juice, it's $146. And I'm just talking about normal without $10 off or anything else. So you're effectively with Happy Juice always getting energy for free. I tell people that all the time because people love a free deal. I tell them all the time. And I tell people you're getting, I, I tell them, by the way, if you want to use it like that, then you double the serving size. If you use edge and mentabiotics to drink in the morning, which is what I usually do, and then have a stick of energy in the afternoon, you got two servings out of that purchase instead of one. 
You don't have to mix the three together. There's no magic about mixing the three together. They're sold together because it's a better price value for you. You get energy for free. And if you want to mix energy and minibiotics together and drink edge later, whatever, do. But um, then I said, you get a free mood plus for you because as a mom, you're going to want that. You need that. You need that to show up as a good mom. And you're getting a free mental focus which for you, I know the distractions of being a single mom and having the stress and pressure of uh, being the sole breadwinner of the family and managing two twin boys that are really full of energy. You need something to help calm your nerves, to help calm calm you down in a non-drowsy, non-addictive way. And you're getting free shipping and you're getting free shipping and you're getting the $10 off and you're getting the bundle and save prices with the other things. So see how I set up the value for her. Now I've been too busy on calls to know whether she, what she said and whatever she said is okay. Because even if she says, I just want to get kids mood, all I can afford is $30 right now. I've planted the seed for her. I've already upsold her that we have more than just kids mood products, right? So nothing, Things ever wasted, but how you set the stage for someone and your posture and your confidence matters a lot around pricing, especially. So I wanted to remind you guys, be strong in the pricing that you have around happy juice. And especially right now with the mood for free. And if you put anything in bundle and save like sleep, relief, whatever else they might target GBX fit, burn, whatever they might need, then you're bumping up into getting that free mental focus. And you may even be bumping up into getting free mental focus and free mental biotics. Um, so I wanted to remind you guys of that. The last thing I wanted to say before we jump into our video today is, um, is that for those of you that are doing the mental wellness coach certification, which is me, I haven't started mine yet. I really want to start it. Um, but I'm finishing up a um, suicide prevention class that I'm teaching. And so that's on my like course list right now to complete. And then I'm going to jump into the mental wellness certification. I encourage you the journey matters more than the destination. The journey matters more than the destination. That's true for business in general. That's true for relationships. That's just a truth. <laughs> so the journey matters more than the destination. Here's what matters. When you start, and I don't even care if you just get 10 minutes into it, whatever, or you do the first class, or if you've already done a couple of classes, here's what matters. Taking this social media class, not only is it um, not social media, the mental wellness certification coaching class is not only an investment in your business, for you to have something to add value to your audience already pre-built, already done. One of the best things we can do is show up and add value to those that are following us. If they feel like we're selling to them all the time, they back up. But if they feel like we're adding value, they lean in. We want them leaning in. This is attraction marketing. We are authentic. We are service. We are humble. These are our core values. So how you can do that is just very simply as you're taking notes on whatever you watch on that course, go out to, to social media right afterwards or take a note in your phone or on your computer of what you're thinking of and share a post about what I learned today. I'm taking this mental wellness coaching class and here's something I learned today. And in fact, your headline could be what I learned today. I wouldn't make your headline, I'm taking this class and guess what I learned today. I wouldn't bother with that because they'll be bored before they even read the whole thing. But just do something like what I learned today or I learned something today or did you know, blank, blank, blank. Um, so Every day, I would encourage you, but at least two to three times a week as you're taking this course, show up either live in video to your Facebook feed. It loves live videos and just share briefly. I learned something today. I learned that it's not just gut bacteria. There's this communication pipeline between your head and your brain. And I learned, or, you know, maybe what you learned the next day is, hey, you know what I learned? I learned that some companies don't check for glyphosate. 
And what is glyphosate? That's the Roundup chemical. That's the pesticide. So I learned that I want to choose a brand that is checking for pesticides because I don't want to put that junk in my body. And I like to buy organic foods. And now I've learned what to look for and what companies check for that. I, I don't know. I'm making this up, but I know that we do test for that. But I'm just giving you an idea of you don't need to be Dr. Sean. You don't need to teach the whole lesson. You just need to take one sentence that you learned from the lesson, one quote, one sentence, and go out and share it. The other reason why consistency matters is the more often they see you sharing this, the more likely, just statistically, in the number of times they might actually see it, the more likely they are to catch it and ask you something about it. Plus, the more that you are sharing this, the more you are establishing yourself as an authority in an area. So the more likely they are to come to you, usually behind the scenes, not publicly in comments, but behind the scenes and say, I've seen you talking for the last few days about what you're learning from that mental wellness coach class. I got a question for you. And they will ask you something. So please get your money's worth out of the mental wellness coaching class. And if you've already completed the class, congratulations. That's great. You can start now. You can still go back to your notes and you can start acting like, hey, this is what I learned day one of the class that I was taking. Um, this is what I learned day two of the class that I was taking. Just be showing up consistently and sharing some of that information. Okay, guys, we've got to hustle over to this video. Um, feel free to put any questions in the chat for me. I'll be paying attention to that um, soon. Um, it looks like Bailey had someone respond from another from an, a whole other prov province. Um, but let me jump over to to this video so I can, uh, cause this video is about 30 minutes and I'm going to set this up with, hang on one second here. What you're looking at right now is the link tree that has the social media stuff on it. Um, but what I want to set this video up with is, um, this is someone that was a guest speaker at Billion. one of our, one of our training events. Um, and she is um, experienced in Facebook and Facebook groups. So I found what she said to be true, even though this was a couple of years ago. So you're not going to hear her talk about TikTok. This is about Facebook groups um, where you've got groups of people and it's an advanced course. Like she does a basic class where she talks about fixing your profile and what people are going to see. But we've been covering that for weeks, if you've been here with me. So we're not going to go back and listen to that. We're just going to start with Facebook groups and how she teaches you to be an authentic person contributing to Facebook groups. Um, so let's go here and Oh, you know what? That crazy Zoom setting. I got to I got to work that magic again. Hang on just one second or else the sound won't come through right. Um okay. Um so we are going to go and I'll make it full screen for you too. So let's try this. On Facebook and there's so many people on Facebook that you can't physically talk to them all in a lifetime. That's a massive space. And if Facebook was its own country, it would be the largest country in the world. So there is an abundance of people to talk to. And if you've ever told, told yourself, oh, I just can't meet any new people. Oh, you know, uh, Facebook, I just can't meet new people. Can't meet new people. Oh, I just keep talking to the same people. Oh, wah, wah, wah. Well, honey, I'm going to eliminate that excuse here today on this training because there are so many people you can't talk to them all. We just need to learn how to find them. So that's what I'm gonna show you how to do in this training today. So uh, you're ready to break out. <laughs> you're gonna be like the Kool-Aid man after this training session. You're gonna be able to bust out of that bubble of your current network and you're gonna be able to run through a brick wall and meet so many people. So my name is Fallon Doe, by the way, said that, but uh, let me introduce myself so you kind of know who I am. Who is this lady with the blue hair talking to me? <laughs> who are you? So I am a high school dropout. Uh, I actually dropped out of school when I was a sophomore. Yeah, a uh, sophomore in high school. So to this day, actually, I do not have my high school diploma. So if you've ever thought that you have to have a college education to be successful, that you have to, you know, leap tall buildings in a single bound, that you have to have all these degrees, that you have to have more credentials behind what you do, honey, it's a lie. It's not the truth. 
And I am absolute proof of that, that it, it doesn't matter where you come from. It, it, it comes down to a desire of where you want to go in life. It's not about where you came from or the obstacles that you've gone through. The, the mess that you've gone through in life is your message. So, and I'm going to talk a little bit more about that also. But I was a single mom also at 17. So I had my son when I was still in high school. That's why I dropped out of school. Um, and I have been, since I've been building on Facebook, which has been the last four years, I have been interviewed by Facebook several times about how I've been able to grow my community without paid advertising. So I do social media coaching and I've been interviewed by Facebook of like, how are you growing on Facebook without doing any advertising? How are uh, advertising? How are you building a community? L tell us the things. And so I have been interviewed by Facebook several times. I am a crazy bird lady. <laughs> so do we have any pet people in the house? Let me know. Uh, I have a, a fluffy little white bird over here. Um, so I believe you guys can see my cursor there. But fluffy little bird, his name is Shogun, and he is 28 years old. I'm 33, so we're going to grow old together, which is awesome. Uh, but I am 33 years old. My son is now 15. He's all, he'll be uh, 16 uh, very shortly in less than a month. So very excited about that, the big 16. And when I started on Facebook, and when I say when I started on Facebook, when I started to use Facebook for a business, is I had a zero budget. Okay, who can relate? <laughs> I had a zero budget and I had an unsupportive spouse about because I have a, a track record who can relate to this one where I start all sorts of projects and then I never finish them. So it's not that my spouse was unsupportive about like you can't do that and you know you're gonna fail. It's like okay, okay, how long is this gonna last? How long is this gonna keep your interest? Because usually stuff won't keep my interest past 30 days at most <laughs> so it was kind of like okay do whatever you want but just don't don't spend any money go do that little project that little internet thing of yours just don't spend any money so i had to get creative of how to use facebook without paid advertising and i've learned how to do that so now i teach others how to do the exact same thing um i have been a part of three separate beta test programs by facebook now they've interviewed me several times and now i'm a part of three beta test programs where i actually test new features on the facebook platform before they're released um, to the rest of the Facebook community. Um, so that is definitely very cool. I get a behind the scenes. I get to work directly with a Facebook team. They ask me feedback and interviews like, hey, how are these features working? So it's pretty cool. I get to see a little bit of the future of Facebook. <laughs> and then I let you guys know what it is too. We bought our dream condo one year ago. Very excited about that. Uh, it's this middle photo here. Um, this building that I have my cursor on and it's beautiful. It's always been our dream. Uh, Glenn and I have been together for 12 years and it's always been our dream to live on the beach. And now we live on the beach. So uh, one of our dreams came true. And that was just after four years of building our business on Facebook. Okay. So we built our dream within four years directly on Facebook only. Okay. Uh, and then yes, in Destin, Florida. So let me know where you're from, but we are in Destin, Florida. If you've ever heard of Destin. Okay, so who am I talking to today? First of all, I'm talking to you, but who are you? <laughs> you are kind of like an intermediate or an advanced person. Okay, so this is the VIP session, and I'm talking to people who are ready, like walking at a fast pace, if we put it that way, or you're running. Okay. I'm not talking to the brand new person. If the brand new person tried to implement the strategies that I'm going to give you here today, they're focusing on the wrong thing first. Uh, the first thing that you want to start when you're on Facebook is creating content and figuring out what your message is. If you don't know what your message is, imagine this thing. Uh, if I was r like running really, really fast, man, like, man, I'm running, I'm sprinting, but I'm going hundred miles an hour in the wrong direction. 
I'm going nowhere fast. And I actually have to backtrack myself. <laughs> and it's going to take even longer then, right? So I'm talking to the person that knows their direction. They're going in the right direction. They're walking in the right direction. They're running in the right direction. I'm just going to help you put better shoes on. I'm going to help you with your equipment and be able to get there faster, right? So I'm talking to that person. You already have direction. I'm just going to help you get there faster. All right. So Facebook content, this is a big misunderstanding that I, uh, when I, that I deal with, with a lot of people is they think that creating good content, kind of like I just talked about, they think that creating good content by itself is what is going to get you your growth on Facebook. That's where you start, but it's not how you grow. Okay. So if we think of baby steps here, or just any kind of steps we think of steps we have to let's pretend that we're climbing a mountain okay going from the bottom going from bottom to the top here we are but you got to climb up the top right we got to take steps one foot in front of the other you can't just have one foot otherwise you kind of just go in circles so good content which is a beginner step i'm not going to cover that in this lesson but that is a beginner step that's we should learn that first once we had to create, learn how to create good content, we know our direction, we know our voice on social media, then we need to learn how to network. And these are the steps that we take. And we take equal steps of creating good, attractive content, attracting our ideal customer or client or potential client, and then networking to experience growth. Okay, so they go hand in hand. Don't have one without the other. And I'm gonna be covering networking in this training. So what am I going to cover today? How to get outside of your current Facebook bubble. Meet real people that wanna hear exactly what you have to say without doing one Facebook ad. Ah, that's the magic word, isn't it? Organic growth, AKA. <laughs> no, this not a, is not a magic button. Okay. Now I work with Facebook. I see a lot of behind the scenes Facebook stuff and everybody always wants to know what is the shortcut? What is the magic button that I push where I just have millions of followers? It's not a button. Okay. It doesn't exist. Facebook doesn't have the easy button. And uh, if there was an easy button, everybody would abuse it and it would get taken away and we're back to square one. You've got to figure out how to use the strategies that I'm going to show you here today of how to grow. Okay. It's not a button. It's a plan that you execute. So step number one is networking. Okay. So let's dive into it. Networking. Um, people think that networking is networking with your current community on Facebook, like your current friends list. And that's not the case. You've got to get outside of that bubble that we're talking about outside of your friends list. Okay, so anytime that I say networking on this training, just understand that I'm talking about people that you don't know yet on Facebook, people that are not on your friends list, people that are preferably not mutual friends with a friend, okay, of yours, and they're not in, they're not in your bubble at all. They're not in your network. Okay, so networking is getting people outside. And a part of this is driving people to your profile. So think of this and try to visual this really quickly. Here is the main goal is you want to get people to your profile. How do we get people to your profile? When they get there, they're going to see that attractive content that I was talking about. They're going to see a message that they can relate to. They're going to see value that you're implementing on your uh, profile. We're like, man, like this is really awesome. Or that was a great tip. And they're really going to want to absorb it. Okay. And they're going to be, they're drawn in. Once they get to your profile, they're going to stick. Okay. I call that sticking power, but how do we get them to your profile? Here is the goal. Okay. And imagine this, when you get a notification from somebody that you don't know on Facebook, what do you do? <laughs> I'll let you answer. What do you do when you get a notification from somebody you don't recognize their name? It says Susie Chapstick you know, commented on your post and you're like, who's Susie Chapstick? Who is that? And what do you do immediately? You go check them out, right? You go check them out. You go check out their profile. You go stalk them a little bit. You do digital stalking and like, who is this Susie Chapstick? <laughs> and you go check out all of her profile. So what just happened, right? What did we just talk about in the previous slide is you want to drive traffic to your profile. 
you just did it. Okay, so the, the goal here is getting notifications. And if you understand this concept, this applies to any social media platform, any app, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, it doesn't matter. TikTok, walk, walk, whatever. <laughs> it applies to all of them and all the future ones. Everybody gets notifications. That's what makes social media, social media. And then people want to check out who gave me a notification? Who's looking at my stuff? Who's interested in me? And the goal that I'm going to show you here today, overall goal, is get notifications in other people's, and I just call it the notification inbox thingy, doesn't really have a name, <laughs> the inbox thingy that are not your current Facebook friends. Because when they check their notifications, what? They're going to come snoop on you. And you got to give them something to snoop, which is good content. But I'm going to show you how to get people to your profile. Okay. So there's a couple locations on Facebook that I like to network on. Now I'm going to cover two of them here today, uh, pages and groups. Okay. Those are my favorite. That's where I have the most amount of results. Now the other places that you can also look, what I'm not going to cover today are Facebook events. You can search by um, area and you can get really specific in your search uh, with Facebook events. You can, as you're seeing uh, Facebook ads show up in your newsfeed, right? If you've ever got frustrated from seeing somebody else's Facebook ad in your newsfeed, honey, don't get mad, get glad. Okay. Those are all people liking and commenting on that ad, especially if you're targeted for the right industry that you're in, like health and wellness, that uh, Facebook is serving people up to you on a silver platter. And then hashtag searches, um, searching hashtags by search. Very simple. Okay. So let's jump into pages how to network on pages. So very simple. If you've ever searched anything on Facebook, you have a search bar. Okay. So up at the very top, and you can do this from mobile or from desktop, um, you go to your search bar and type in a keyword that is kind of like a, a general term or search word that relates to your industry. Obviously let's use health and wellness as an example. Um, and in this case, I use the word juicing. Okay. Uh, you don't always have to use the word gut or gut health. Think outside the box a little bit. Juicing, guess what? People who are interested in juicing are interested in living cleaner. They don't maybe know about or they don't understand gut health, um, but they want to live healthier. Okay. And your job is to educate them about gut health. You're not looking for people who are already sold on the idea of gut health because they're probably already taking something. They probably already researched that. You want to find people who are interested in living healthier. Okay. So think outside the box when it comes to your searches. So let's use the juicing example. So uh, you can toggle to, once you type in juicing in the search bar, uh, you can go to the pages only tab. So it gives you all the search results for all of the Facebook pages, which is what you want, not profiles, but pages, uh, like business pages, right? So I found this one page, it's called Juicing Vegetables. Um, pretty simple. It has quite a few followers. I forget exactly how many followers, but you want to look for larger pages, preferably pages that have over 100,000 followers. I think this page actually had a million followers, which is awesome. All right. So I looked at their recent posts of what they had, and they made this post 14 hours ago, and they, it is this coffee recipe. Um, so what you do is go to everybody who reacted to that post. So you can see here there was, and it might be kind of small for you, but 266, I believe, reactions on this post. And what I do is I go directly to the hearts, okay? I go directly to the hearts reactions and I pull up everybody who gave the heart reaction to this post because I like networking with people who went that extra step to leave a heart reaction versus just a like, right? Like, meh. <laughs> I like the people who love it. So I'm gonna pull up all the reaction tabs. You can also, um, go to the wow faces or laughy face or the little care is a new reaction uh, that Facebook's doing also. Okay. So what you do here, remember what our goal is, is to get notifications to people that you don't know. So let's use Aaron as this example, Aaron, Laura, Bonnet, Bennett, I think maybe. And here's a few things to look for that are good signs. Number one, there's a profile picture of her face. Good sign. Also, it has the ability to send her a friend request. Now, very clear. You are not sending them a friend request. You are not sending them a message. 
okay? That's a little bit creepy stalker weirdo where people are gonna be like, who the heck is this? Like, what? But what you wanna do is give them a compliment, okay? You wanna let them know that you exist, which is a notification. It's very non-threatening. Everybody loves notifications and everybody loves compliments. We would click over to Erin's profile and then we would like and comment on some of her recent posts on her profile, directly on her profile, not on the page, directly over to her profile, okay? Then we click back, go back to the list. Let's say this Alyssa may repeat the process, okay? She's got a profile picture of her face, which is great. The ability to send her a friend request, which is great. Click over to her profile, like and comment on some recent stuff. What happens when you like and comment on her stuff? She gets notifications, right? What was the goal? Get notifications to people you don't know. Okay, so next step is um, also recognizing that, see here where it says uh, Sanja Shepard, but it doesn't have the ability to send her a friend request. We're gonna skip those. Now, you can, you can go explore those, but what I have noticed over time of doing this for years and years, this process, is the people who don't have the ability to send them a friend request are usually, I call it like on Facebook lockdown, where they have their profile um, private, where you can't like and comment on but any of their stuff. So just move on to the next profile, okay? There's 266 profiles that you have the ability to go network with, move on, okay? All right, so next slide is, um, another little hack that I like to do is pull up the shares, okay? So if we look here in the bottom right-hand corner, it says 344 shares. Honey, that's a lot of, that's a lot of people, okay? And they took the step to not even just like the post, they took that extra step to share the post with their community. Very good sign. So now this is, you can only do this from a computer, okay? So once you click on the shares, you actually click on the text that says 344 shares, and you get this list that pulls up. And see how Colleen McGraw, um, she has it where it's public. I could leave a heart reaction, and then I could leave a comment. And I think I said something like, OMG, this looks delicious. And you can also ask a question here of, do you love coffee or do you love cooking at home? Because this looks really good. Or have you tried this recipe yet? Okay, something that would requ require a response. And it was funny, while I was doing this screenshots, check on over here at uh, B, at my example B here. She responded, okay, I commented, 19 minutes ago and within 19 minutes she commented in response to my comment and she said omg so good okay very good sign this is good we're friendly we're talking we're we're chatting we're making friends okay <laughs> very good colleen is friendly she's bubbly she's got a picture of her face she's responding to my comments this is awesome okay all right so what to look for on pages is I look for the heart reactions. I look for the wow reactions like I showed you. I also looked for tagged name in the comments. So I look through the comments of that post and I'll see if somebody tagged somebody else. That's another, that's, you know, another two or three people that I can click over to their profile, like and comment on some of their stuff. And then I also look through the shares, like I just showed you, that is computer only. And then I also look at the positive comments, okay? Who left a positive comment on this post? I can reply to that individual comment and leave them a, a nice comment uh, as a reply. Don't spam, okay? Do not do this. Don't go directly to somebody's messages and direct message them. Don't send people a friend request because that's a little bit too forward. And then um, all you wanna do is get people notifications, okay? You're not gonna be spamming the page. That's not the goal. All right, now how to network on groups. Okay, so searching for a great group. You wanna look for a group that has over 100,000 members. Uh, search for keywords like travel in this example. So pets, travel, beach, gardening. Uh, hobby groups are really great. Public groups, if possible, not, you know, the end of the world, but if possible. Try to find a group that's not choked by over moderating, like the admins kind of got a power trip going on. Avoid those groups. Uh, and then find a group that is generic interest groups, not groups that are necessarily based around a public figure. For example, like Tony Robbins. Why? Because they like Tony Robbins. 
way of health and wellness. They don't aren't necessarily open to new ways of health and wellness. Okay, so general hobby groups that you have an interest in. Okay, for example, I love the beach, love it. So I'm in a beach group with over 100,000 members. I posted an attractive photo to the group. I made a, you know, like a nice caption uh, about the quarantine, stay home, me. And this post had over almost 9,000 reactions, 560 comments. Okay. Don't add text to your photo. Try to be in the photo yourself. Don't be promotional. Very important. Okay. You're not in the group to be promotional and to sell stuff. You're in the group to attract people to you big difference. If you can post funny, engaging, ask for feedback or light value. Okay. Here is a women's travel group that I'm a part of. I actually shared one of my videos into the group. Some groups, especially the larger hobby groups will let you share videos into the group. Now don't take your promotional, Hey, here's about my product video. Mm -mm, that's going to get denied and you'll probably get booted from the group. Share a video into the group that you posted on your profile and share that video into the group that relates to the group. Okay. So I shared a sunset video into the group, women's travel group. The video was actually 15 seconds long. So my suggestion is keep your videos very, very short, highly visual, not a lot of talking. Save your best content for a video because with photos, people can download the photo and then share it without needing you video they have to actually share the original video so this video that i had over 60,000 views which is awesome um highly visual uh thumbnail so that they can see it before they get into it and then make sure it's you know related to the group like um that general hobby here is an example of i blending okay so i shared i'm in a home decor group I shared my office, which is where I'm at right now, uh, a before and after photo of my office, and I shared it into the home decor group. Okay, so I'm kind of like talking about what I do. Obviously, I have a video studio. You can see it in my setup. I say in the post, like I work from home, and I talked about before and after. I also asked about some paint recommendations or decor recommendations that they would you know, put in or stuff like that. So again, it's attracting people to me. And what I do. Here's some quick do's and don'ts for groups. Okay. Do be a content creator in the group. You want to be posting to the group, not just commenting to the group. Spend more time posting, not commenting. Only the, the point is, is to be commenting in response to your own, um, your own posts. Okay. Create discussion questions back and forth in the comments. Uh, share relevant video content into the group. Not, don't overdo it. Otherwise, you know, you might get blocked from the group. One out of every seven posts is great. Respond to genuine comments. Tag people when you're responding to their comments and, you know, as you're replying. Join the group as your profile, not your business page. And create a rotation of your best posts to share into other groups. So if one post does really well in a beach group, consider joining another beach group. It did really well. Okay. And don'ts. Don't post stock photos without identifying that it's not your photo because that kind of makes you look like a, you know, a copycat. You never post, like don't ever not post to the group is what I'm saying. I see that happen all the time. Everybody just comments on the group and comments and everybody else and they never actually post to the group you want to post. Join the group as your, so don't join the group as your page. Um, another don't is you never create a welcome post. Okay. Definitely want to create a welcome post. Don't direct message people and, or tell them in the comments, like if they respond to your, uh, post in the comments, like, Oh, what a great photo or what a great trip you had. Like, Oh yeah, it was great. I'll DM you. Keep the conversation in the comments. Always. If you say you're going to direct message people, uh, number one, people don't like it and admins don't like it. Okay, because they know that you're up to something. Keep the conversations, whatever you have to say, say it within the group. Okay, uh, here's your action steps after this training. Find pages that fit your target audience and demographic. Network with 10 profiles, get creative. Okay, join hobby groups that will fit your target demographic and create a welcome post. Very, very good. Okay, and uh, now you know how to. Uh, find your target 
uh, person that you want to find on Facebook, how to drive them to your profile without any paid advertising, and how to find new people that uh, are not on your current friends list and you don't have anything in common with yet, which is really great. Uh, on Facebook, you can come find me at uh, Search Lady Tribe, and I will be there. There's my profile picture on my page, and uh, I do live videos five days a week, Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. Eastern. And you can follow me there uh, and get All free right, value. everyone. So um, I know that many of you liked this and I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead. And for those of you that are here live with me, I'm going to share the link for this uh, for that recording for you. Okay, so hang on just one second. Um, that was a recording of a recording. <laughs> um, so I um, apologize if there was some background noise. There was it was not on her end. It was on our end. Um, but it was a recording of a recording. So let me get the link for you. And, um, and then you can go back and watch that as as much as you want to. Now, again, um, let's see. Here it is. I'm going to paste it here. Um, we've got a couple of minutes to wrap up. Let me answer some of your questions. Now, again, this is a little bit outdated. This was a couple of years ago and things in social media are changing all of the time. But what is right is that um, is the rules that Fallon set. So what she suggested was like 10 groups. But remember, she suggested large groups. The larger the group, the better. Like look for a group over 100,000 people. But this goes back to knowing your target audience. Who is your target audience? Who are you working with and communicating with? And if you know your target audience, then it sets an easier strategy for you for the next question. Like, what group should I look for? Well, if you know who your target audience is, that's an easier question. And if you're on this call and you don't feel like you know who your target audience is, look at the social media workshops. We have a couple of workshops about that. And next Wednesday, I've got a special guest, Lindsay Elmore, coming to really dig into an exercise working workshop with you, taking a couple of volunteers to walk through your target audience. Speaking of that, drop it in the notes if you'd like to be a volunteer for next week um, in the chat for um, Lindsay's class. Holly, I see your name. Your name is up. Your hand is up. Awesome. I'm putting you at the top of that list with Lindsay. Um, and uh, so what Fallon is saying is you want to be a good citizen. Like you want to show up with the purpose of the groups. The purpose of the groups is not to solicit and to sell. People don't join the groups to be sold to. They join groups. Like I'll tell you a couple of groups I'm part of. I'm part of a group about beach therapy. Okay. Because I live at the beach. I love the beach and I love therapy. So I'm on, I'm in a beach therapy group. Uh, I'm also part of a, um, like a Basenji dog mom group. That's a little bit of a smaller group, but I'm part of that because I'm in a Basenji dog mom. Um, I'm also part of a group that's a dog mom group. That's a bigger, much bigger group. Uh, I'm also part of a group of parents that have sexually abused children. Sadly, that's a very big group. Um, I'm also part of a group. What is the other group I'm part of? Maybe something to do with um, cooking and like, like recipes kind of group. Um, so those are the groups I'm part of. I am not part of 10 different groups because I'm part of a lot of y'all stuff and helping answering y'all's questions and everything else is just that that's enough. So five groups is max for me. Um, but what I do like to do is uh, I am part of some charity organization groups like NAMI International, Darkness to Light, um, different charities charities that are important to me. What I like to do is I like to show up as a contributor because when I show up and I create content that is relative to the subject, like I share an encouraging quote, or I share a story that I heard, or I share a picture of a great sunset at the beach, like she's talking about. I've not done that video thing, but that's a great idea from her too. Um, uh, or when I show up and I like, and I comment on other people's stuff, then, then the people that are in the group see my name popping up of, oh, oh, I love that picture of your dogs. Oh my gosh, those dogs are so silly. My dogs act like that too. Um, you know, they see things that we connect with. When you, who do you buy from? 
You buy from people you know, like, and trust. So if you're building a network of people that you have not yet met in your life and you're building it online remotely, how are you going to create the know, like, and trust factor? Well, I'll tell you how you're not going to create it. You're not going to create it preaching at them about what they should buy and how, what they should do. And this is what I do. And this is what you should do. That's not no like, and trust that's being bossed around. People don't like to be bossed around. So how you're going to build that no like, and trust factor is in these communities. You don't have to be in 10 or a dozen communities. Start with five, start with one and figure it out. Feel comfortable with it, understand what you're doing. But remember, this goes back to, um, she, she said it, and there's rules against this in a lot of groups. If you go into the group and you comment, oh, I got a great solution for a headache. It's relief plus, watch this video. You're gonna be bounced out of that group like quickly. So do not do that. That is not the purpose of the group. And you want to treat people how you want to be treated. Instead, what go back to what we talked about. When your profile has a photo of you, a nice banner image, a help statement, maybe a link tree that takes people to your happy quiz or $10 off, is clean, is active. Like like you don't want somebody to come to your profile and it's private. And all they can see is some public, like one or two things. You want it to be a public profile so that a friend, a non-friend, which is somebody from the group that's not a friend of yours can come see what you're about. You don't want them to come to your profile and they haven't seen you post anything in a year. Or the only thing they've seen you post is shared content or uh, political content or, um, you know, things that things that they might not agree with. Um, you, you are in business on Facebook. It's a free advertising place for you. So keep in mind that if that's the way you're using it, it's, it's a free advertising place for you. Um, so you want your person to come there and say, I, I really like her. Like, she's like me. I like what she's talking about. I like that she doesn't show up perfectly all the time. I see her out walking the dogs. That's what I'm doing. Um, You know, that they feel connected to you, whatever it is, whether you're gardening or whether you're shoveling snow or whether you're dancing in the streets on a sunny day because it rarely happens or whatever, you just want them to feel connected with you the same way that you would do it. The power of the groups is you can build the know, like, and trust factor by being in the groups and participating in the group conversation, not trying to hijack the group conversation to be about selling. If you do that, you will be kicked out of the groups Um, and you could ultimately get banned from Facebook um, if enough people complain about you about it. So please do not do that. Be respectful. Do what the group is about. Get your profile in order and continue creating content on your profile. Um, Banner images. Yeah, Janine's giving some great advice. You can look at any of ours, um, Yesli, to see um, what our banner image is. It could be a family photo. It could be a photo with a quote on it that you like. You can go to Canva for free and look for, like put in whatever you want to Google search in Canva and it could pull something up for you um, that you can get for free. So there's a lot of different things there. So I put the link directly to the recording for Fallon. If you want to go back and watch that group thing again and grab the screenshot of the do's and the don'ts. Um, I'm glad that you guys liked it. It sounds like you got something out of it. Next week, we'll be back here. Do I only have Holly as Holly and Bobby are going to be our volunteers uh, to, to do the role play with Lindsay on your ideal client. All right. That's awesome. Okay, guys, make it a great day. I 